installment of Halloween Madness, let's attempt, at least, to make a jack-o'-lantern and see how it goes. Okay, we have our great big pumpkin. I have a pumpkin carving kit. It comes with a starter saw, a detail saw, the scraper scoop, the utility saw, and the drill. And it includes 10 patterns. As neat as these designs are, it would probably take more time than necessary to really do this, because you gotta wet the patterns, presumably in the kitchen sink. Apply it to the pumpkin and then wrap it up in plastic wrap. That's when we can just use a Sharpie. Why don't we use the starter saw? It says the starter saw is for cutting the top or bottom of the pumpkin and carving simple designs. I'm a beginner, so... Alright, let's carve. This is quite a small scraper. <laughs> After 30 to 45 minutes, or even more than that, finally. How about the Triforce? Let's try to carve that using the utility saw. Triforce of power, carved. Was that wisdom or courage? I always get them mixed up for some reason. But either way, one more. I really shouldn't have turned off the camera. I ended up carving out both pieces. So we're just left with one big triangle. At least I tried. And now we have our LED lights. I knew it wasn't going to go flawlessly. At any rate, tonight's installment brought to you by Halloween Oreos with five spooky Halloween designs. See, so you got a pumpkin, you have Dare to Dunk, you have a spider web, you have a witch, and you have a ghost. And there you have how good I am at making jack o' lanterns. And October is coming to an end, so how about. One more installment of Halloween Madness. If you think so, I guess I'll see you in the next one.